I'm Lauren Bobert, and I approve this message. Cut. That's a wrap. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm a newly elected congresswoman from Colorado. Even though I now work in one of the most liberal cities in America, I refuse to give up my rights, especially my Second Amendment rights. I will carry my firearm in D.C. and in Congress. This caused outrage from Democrats and the media. Why? It's our job in Congress to defend your rights, including your Second Amendment, and that's exactly what I'm here to do. In D.C., of all places, we should be encouraged to practice our rights. So forget what you hear in the fake news. Here are the real reasons why I choose to defend myself in our nation's capital. I'm a woman and a mother of four. I choose to defend my family with all of the force the Constitution provides. D.C. is one of the top 10 most dangerous cities in our country. Homicide rates and violent crimes are skyrocketing here. Being a member of Congress is pretty basic. I don't go to work in a motorcade or armored car. I don't get police escorts everywhere I go. I walk to my office every morning by myself. So as a five foot tall, 100 pound woman, I choose to protect myself legally because I am my best security. One of the challenges of working in DC is people here don't understand how we live in real America. The second amendment is part of our lives. Gun ownership is cherished and it makes our little town safer. As a young woman working late nights at a restaurant, I learned real fast how important it is to defend myself. After a violent incident outside my business, I took advantage of Colorado's open carry laws and began to carry at work. My waitresses asked if they could open carry too. And now Shooter's Grill has mandatory firearm training and target practice available for my staff, most of whom are young women. Educated, law-abiding gun owners are the safest people in America to be around. So when anyone comes in to limit the rights and safety of my family, I'll tell them exactly what this mom thinks. I am here to say hell no, you're not. I have four children, I'm five foot zero, 100 pounds, cannot really defend myself with a fist. So all you're going to do is restrict law-abiding citizens like myself. So this is why I choose to defend myself and my family. Not only is it my right, but it's a right I was sent here to protect from Rifle Colorado. So if you see me in DC, say hi. You're safe with me. We interrupt this video for an important message from the Chief of Police of the Metropolitan Police Department, Chief Conti. Yeah, I only recently uh, heard about that within the last uh, 30 minutes or so. Uh, what I will say to that is uh, there are no exceptions uh, in the District of Columbia. As you mentioned, well, with the exception of, of the, uh, being able to carry in US, uh, on, on U.S. Uh, Capitol Police uh, property. Um, for the District of Columbia, um, we plan to reach out to the Congresswoman's uh, office to make sure that she is aware of what the laws of the District of Columbia are, what the restrictions are, and uh, that Congresswoman, uh, wh whoever it is, I guess it was from Colorado, uh, you know, will be subjected to the same penalties for anyone else uh, that's caught on the District of Columbia street uh, carrying a firearm. Unlawfully, I might add. Mayor Bowser, have you seen her video where she characterizes the district as one of the most dangerous cities in, in the country? I haven't. Do you have any message for her? Um, I, I'll just add to, to what the chief says. This is serious business. Um, we uh, should all take very um, seriously uh, um, an American's ability to exercise his or her First Amendment rights, um, and we do. Um, but we also have to know that we have a serious threat uh, to our democracy right now, um, that the will of American people through a fair and just election um, is being questioned and violence is being incited. Uh, and that leaves the men and women who have sworn an oath to protect public safety uh, in a very difficult position. The men and women of the Metropolitan Police Department, United States Park Police, United States Capitol Police, uh, the Secret Service are all going to be out uh, to protect um, the First Amendment, but also to protect people and property. Okay, so that's, it, it, it would, it, 
strikes me is it angers me actually uh, that any elected official would incite violence, um, put our city at risk, to put these men and women in law enforcement at risk, our residents at risk, and our beautiful city at risk. Uh, and I call on them to stand down on, on that e activity regardless of their political views. Our Constitution will endure. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the President and the Vice President of the United States on January the 20th. Yes.